hi, my friends. Uh, we're going to now continue our story. And um, this is the uh, last of my lectures. Um, I hope you have learned a lot thus far. And I, ho I hope you have enjoyed the course. And of course, I wish you all the best um, in your... Uh, in your education and uh, I hope that you all stay safe and you all vaccinate please 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 and uh, and you all prosper um, so my friends so this uh, in the last uh, series of lectures for model um, seven uh, we will continue our story and we will pick up sort of where we left off um, and um, we will recall that um, ever since the Romans mm, uh, came to East, Eastern Mediterranean and, um, and um, came to Syria in 63 BCE, right, um, they 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 were confronted with the Parthians who already were a major power then, right? So um, throughout this four hundred years of Roman um, Parthian coexistence, more than four hundred years, right? Um, of Roman Parthian coexistence. Um, there were always there. You you remember there were always um, clashes between the two, and the clashes had to do with economic uh, issues and trade issues, and um, and uh, predominantly. And you remember that they there were constant clashes, right? Well, these constant clashes continued. To towards the end of um, sort of a Parthian Empire, um, sort of you know as as you see the Parthian Empire, uh, the last Parthian kings as I will uh, describe for you, um, defeated was defeated by the first Sasanian king, um, and and um, and thus started the the empire of another dynasty another iranian dynasty in uh, in the territories that we have been talking about and that's the sasanian empire so we the Im immediate background of the rise of the sasanians right um to power is uh, basically destructive um destructive wars um, that have been taking place with between the Parthians and the and the and the Romans as the two eyes of the earth, right? Basically, um, so that's the immediate background. There is another background to the rise of Sasanians, and that is the internal issues of um, Parthian Empire, specifically the fact that. Uh, various Parthian houses uh, came to question um, the rule of the Parthian house that was in power, right? And there was a, a lot of internal conflict taking place. In the midst of these two uh, sort of um, two processes that were taking place was born the third major empire of of uh, of the Iranians and that is the Sasanian empire which also continued for more than uh, basically um for centuries right um so um we're going to be talking about the Sasanian empire and then I uh, will pick up the rest of the story with the Roman Empire in a different uh, um, sort of uh, lecture and and I will take you through 
um, the Arab conquest and the rise of Islam. And so it is going to be altogether, uh, I hope, a very interesting series of lectures for the, your last module. So, okay, this is the Sasanian Empire at its height, right? I don't want you to look at, I mean, I just want you to know that gradually this empire grew to this this extent. And we will talk about the the ways this this the ways in which this happened, right? So um, the Sasanian Empire, right, um, started right, like um, like the Achaemenid Empire in this territory that we know as Persis, right? So let's start our lecture on the Sasanians. This was all. Okay, so uh, on uh, Sasanian, the Sasanian, the House of Sasan, right, um, started in Persis, as we mentioned before, right, and here is Pars, right, and and this was the that this was the indigenous name of the territory, as you remember, which the Greeks had gotten, and from where we get Persian, right. Persians and per, per, Persians, uh, which is also the same as Iranians, right? So, okay, so um, so they started from uh, from Persis. The, the 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 first Sasanian king defeats the last Sasanian uh, Sasan uh, the last Parthian king. Um, and uh, it thrones himself as as the king of uh, the, as a king that is coming from a house of Sasan as the king of Iran, right? So yes, Pars, Persis, Persia, Persians, right? So who was the founder of of um, of uh, this empire, um, a fellow named Ardeshir, right, who together with his family, right, um, apparently were the priests of a temple, an Iranian temple of Iranian religions in Fars, right, the temple of Anahit, Anahit, yeah, the temple of Anahit. Anyway, yes, Ardeshir is the one of the major founders of the Sasanian Empire, who gradually begins to take over, right, and ter the territories from the Parthian, the various Parthian dynasts who were ruling at the various parts of the empire, a, a Parthian empire throughout the Parthian history, right? The, the Parthian history sort of had united these various dynasts of, um, of the Parthians. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> so okay, so Ardeshir begins to um, to unite some of these families, these uh, Parthian families, around himself, right? And gradually he begins to extend Iranian territory. He begins at the beginning, yeah. Uh, he begins to mint coins like. Um, imitating the Parthian coins, right? And imitating Parthian gestures on their coins. So they, they usually had left profile, they had a Parthian-like hat, and their hairs was um, dust, and um, the mustache was such, right? And the beard was made into... Um, 
very delicate sort of uh, braids, right, as such, right? So, uh, at the beginning, he, he I mean, you know, Parthians had ruled for all these um, centuries over Iran, so they had, first of all, continued the, the, the culture of the Achaemenids, and remember that Achaemenids at their heights, right, they had, uh, they, they were control, in control of all of uh, Anatolia, all of Egypt, all of uh, Syria, Mesopotamia, right, they were, they had gone to the, to the, um, uh, to the very, uh, I mean, they had taken over Ionia and all of Anatolia, and they had established a sophisticated bureaucracy, and, um, um, you know, that they had, in, they had inherited, and they were proponents of a, a major cultural tradition, right? So when we get to when, and, and the Parthians had, had continued this Iranian tradition, right? Uh, which is which is which we might actually call a world tradition, right? I mean, the the way that everything had been has been concentrated around Rome, right, and the Roman Empire, and has this Western perspective, uh, has forced us to lose sight of the fact that you know for a millennia, basically, you had a uh, three major. Um, Iranian empires, right, that ruled uh, most of Western Asia for, you know, for a millennium. Okay, so all of this to say that there's a cultural continuity as well, and that this cultural tradition um, has to be uh, sort of reckoned as a world cult cultural um, tradition, uh, my friends, because um, it extended, right, to uh, at 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 certain points, right? It extended to the Balkans, right, and um, to the uh, sort of borders of China, and of course was a sister tradition with uh, with uh, with the Indian subcontinent. So anyway. Um, uh, not talking about the, that cultural tradition as such, but we will get to talk about it a little bit, uh, a little bit further on. Um, so at, at the beginning, right, like uh, like all throughout history, right, there is a continuity. So uh, so the founder of the dynasty actually marries into one of the Parthian dynasties, according to two of the legends around surrounding his his life, right. And and um, and he 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 brings the brings the cultural tradition of Persis, of course, with himself, right? And 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 that cultural tradition, which is also, of course, an Iranian cultural tradition, gains strength when the House of Sasan, the Sasanians, are in power. But as we will see, these Parthian traditions and these Parthian families do not die, right? So anyway, so while he begins at the at the beginning to to imitate the cultural traditions of the, I mean you know um, the, that that cultural tradition continues whether they want it or not right um, the Sasanians wanted it or not but but there was a conscious effort during their period right of 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 basically defining a territorial uh, territorial. Um, region uh, that basically uh, that went from Egypt to Central Asia, right? And they called that the land of Iran or Iran Shah. We we will get uh, this Iran, right? Of course, is the same of Iran and Shah is the Middle Persian um, uh, word for country, right? Um, oh, I'm sorry, let me keep it there in case some, some of you have not 
Sinit, right? Iran Shah, which is Iran, the country of Iran, right? And they are said to have established a, 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 a sort of um, a centralized, gradually established a centralized empire with Zoroastrianism, um, which is the Iranian religion and uh, and and in the currents of Iranian religions, which have uh, which have had a substantial effect on the rise of Judaism and Christianity, and I will talk about it when I talk about Zoroastrianism a little bit. So, but anyway, Adeshir is supposed to have established a centralized empire by bringing various regions of the empire into being, right, by going into Mesopotamia and taking over Mesopotamia from the Parthians, right? And of course, Establish when what and and while establishing the Sasanian dynasty and the beginning of and the beginning of Sasanian empire as a uh, as a as a self conscious empire right that that claimed even to continue the the Achaemenid traditions right. Um, uh, while this is happening and Mesopotamia is is is, yeah, this empire and this cultural tradition also uh, inherits right the 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 inherits the 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 conflicts right uh, that Iranians um, had on their east and the and their west with their neighbors, right? In the West, these neighbors continue to be the Roman Empire, right? Um, as we will see, yeah, the Roman Empire. Um, okay, so the Romans are like in Syria and everywhere, uh, uh, most of Syria and of course in Anatolia, right? Uh, and uh, and they had taken over Egypt, of course, and North Africa, right? Remember most of North Africa, and and they had they had established their empire, right? Um, so um, so they come into conflict um with the Sasanians as soon as Ardeshir rises to power. So when Ardeshir um, begins to um, sort of, excuse me, um, build his, uh, his empire, um, the empire was maybe something like this, right? Bringing all the Parthians and, uh, and um, the Medes and all of that, all the Parthians and everybody together. Right, and they have control of Mesopotamia, of course. Right, um, so gradually that border between um, the the recently rising Sasanians and as the Sasanians gain power, right, in the region and and begin to utilize the riches that they have within their uh, within their region and the regions under their control, right? The border also extends, right? So that finally, finally, the border becomes the uh, Euphrates River. Let me clear this, right? So finally, the border becomes the Euph Euphrates River, which... Uh, which runs something like this, right? Um, come, yeah, comes from East, ca the Caucasus. Remember, um, okay. Uh, so um, they established their the Sasanians established. Um, they were the last uh, per last rulers of Persian lineage uh, to. Uh, 
to bring Western Asia together, basically, until the Arab conquest of the 7th century. And we will talk about it, right? Um, the ways in which this border grows until the 7th century, this is the border that we, we will get uh, in the Sasanian Empire, right? Um, the 7th century beginning like 600s, right? By 600s, right? They're at the height of their power, yeah? So, um, so uh, you know, we, we talked about the causes of party and decline, right? Chronic civil strife, epidemics, smallpoxes, repeated wars with Romans, right? Um, here, Ardeshir, you know, once in power, right, is here, um, the, the, the Iranians were very much known for, from the Achaemenid period onwards, for, as, as you remember, we talked about it, for carving these, um, these fantastic portraits at impossible heights, right, uh, on the mountains that that basically uh, surround, uh, you know, are in Persis, right? And and all of this con construction construction uh, activity is taking place in Persis and to the south of Persis, right? And in Mesopotamia, but these. Um, murals, if you will, these are these are all from the from the um, from the um, from the Pars region, from the region of Persis, right? And here you see Ardeshir, right, receiving the diadem, right, which is the diadem that provides divine grace. If you are a just king from the major god of uh, of Iranians, right, um, Ahura Mazda, right, um, you know, as as uh, uh, God is uh, called Elohim, right? In 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 the in in the Hebrew language, right? Um, um, you know, Christians have their various definition of how God appears within with Christ, right? Um, and and and. Um, Right and 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 um, the Iranians have the pet ultimate source of good, which is their god Ahura Mazda, who creates the world. Right. So here, Ahura Mazda is giving the diadem of divine grace because Ardashir has established a just realm, right, um, to, to Ardeshir, right, um, and, and therefore he's, be, he's receiving his investiture, right, kingship, right, from the, the supreme god of Iranians himself, itself, right, uh, himself, uh, Ahura Mazda, right. So, um, so uh, starting from Persis, Ardeshir comes and conquers all of Persis, right, and then goes and conquers Ketesiphon, right, one of the capitals of the Parthians, conquers Mesopotamia, then he goes and conquers the rest of the Iranian pla plateau, eastern Iran, like the neighbors in the eastern uh, Iranian world, Right, uh, which are which are predominantly also Iranians themselves, right, in the area that we now know as um, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, yeah, all with um, sort of Iranian populations, right. Um, so Ardeshir, having brought all of these regions 
and to to uh, together he is also known as the unifier right a uh, unifier of the country so um so um and 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 and, and he achieved right a, a great many things right and and uh, for the Sasanian Empire, for the House of Sasan, right, and and uh, so much, um, so much so that he became one of the uh, symbols of good kingship, right, in the um, amongst the um, Iranians, um, you know, amongst the Sasanian kings. So here, as you see, you. Uh, you see the course of the Tigris, right? That is changing, right? And therefore, <coughs> excuse me. This is this is the course of the Tigris from third century, <coughs> excuse me, BC to first century AD, right? It you know it was it went thus, right? And from 2nd century to 7th century, it moved and it began to go thus, right? So this, this affects urbanization, right? Um, the, the makeup of um, urban um, sort, of, um, sort of landscape uh, in one of the important regions where Tigris and Euphrates Tigris and Euphrates, remember R A T, right? Come together, right? So uh, he was a city build builder, right? He no fewer than eight cities are attributed to him, right? He was an able um, administrative reformer, right? Uh, and and they say that he was a consolidator of the Iranian Zoroastrian uh, religion, of which we will talk about, right? And, um, and, and he placed his own sons, right? Um, he replaced the vassal kings by his own sons and, uh, and relatives, and he's supposed, to, he's supposed to have centralized, right? Centralized the state, right? Um, um, and 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 state revenue right and, and establishing once again uh, uh, an efficient uh, bureaucracy right that strengthened the army which was throughout their history brought about the strength of their army the backbone of their army were the same Parthian families Parthian dynasts that I uh, we we had talked about and I will talk about more in in a, in a while, right? So um, so my friends, so okay, um, here uh, you see it's Ctesiphon, right? And and the 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 city building, right? Of of um of um of city building ac activities of of Sasanian kings in Mesopotamia, which follows, right, which follows a long tradition of urban life in Mesopotamia, right? Uh, so Iranians contributed substantially to this ur urban life, right? Um, so, okay, I, I remember the, the, um, the, the makeup of the, of the, uh, of the region, right? Yeah, this is the Red Sea, right? This is the Persian Gulf. This is the Arabian Peninsula. This is Arabian Sea, and here is Indian Ocean. This is the Caspian Sea, right? And this is the Black Sea, and this is the Mediterranean Sea, right? Remember, uh, my friends. So the, the the I mean I I put this one here because 
in in some sense the this the history of the region right uh, follows the same patterns for a long while right the 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 the, the need right the need to um to connect eastern mediterranean right the need to connect eastern Med Med uh, Med mediterranean to to the the to uh to the rest of, you know, to uh, Mesopotamia, right? Bringing Mesopotamia and Eastern Mediterranean together and bringing the waters that connect these, right, under one's control, right? And this has been a very important issue in the history of the region and in the history of Iran, right? Um, he continued, uh, and she continued the um, Arsasi, the Parthian tradition of um, of giving the highest positions, right, to these same Parthian families that we were talking about, right, and they they established the Sasanians. Ardeshir himself, um, not probably, but later Sasanian kings established that this territorial um, territorial. A sort of conception of the land of Iran, Iran Shah, right? And and uh, and uh, originally they 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 described their empire, right, as the empire of Persian Persians and Par Parthians, right? Um, who actually intermarried uh, with the um, Sasanian kings, right? These Parthian families, okay. Um, so and 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 they they have they had actually a, a very very um, strong army right throughout their history right the Iranians because for instance the Achaemenids um, as well as all the other empires the Parthians and and uh, and and the uh, and the Sasanians brought non-Iranian peoples right under their control right and and these these um non-iranian um this iranian and non-iranian people also brought their their army uh, to uh, to uh, you know to the to the service of the sasanian kings and their expansionist sort of at some level policies right um so this is a good example of a, what a sasanian knight in other words one of these parthian knights would have looked like right a, a, a major lance right the, the horses are all covered uh covered and uh you know, with iron, iron um, covering, they themselves are 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 covered um, with I, I, iron covering, and they were they were a, a force, obviously, the to reckon with. They were the major force in Western Asia, right, from the Achaemenid period for a millennia, right, and part of this, of course, uh, had to do with their upkeep. Uh, uh, with with the with with the armies that they were uh, able to bring to the field uh, against their their en enemies, right? Um, so he is supposed to have a, 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 a sort of um, um, uh, done a calendar reform, right? And and um, and. Um, uh, and and he had uh, he's supposed to have introduced the game of backgammon. So the back you know the backgammon that we have comes from Iran actually. And you see on one of their plates here, right, two fellows, right, um, sort of leaning uh, on 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 cushions. I'm sure, right, and playing the game here, right. And and he and uh, he he's said to have written. A testament, right? Um, 
that that reads as follows never partly reads as follows never forget that as a king you are at once the protection of religion and of your country consider the altar and the throne as inseparable so he is supposed to have brought religion and 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 state together right um a sovereign without religion is a tyrant and the people who have um have none may be deemed the most monstrous if they don't have a religion of all societies right um remember my son that it is the prosperity or adversity adversity of the ruler which forms the happiness or misery of his subjects and that the fate of the nation depends on the conduct on the uh, conduct of the individual who fills the throne the world ex is exposed to constant vicissitudes right learn therefore to meet the frowns of fortune with courage and fortitude um uh to sum all to sum up all May you may your administration be such as to bring at a future day the blessing of those whom God has confided to our parental care upon both of your memory and mine. Right? Is it supposed to have been written to his son Shapur? Right. Uh, so um, the after Ardashir, right, the two most emblematic uh, sort of um, uh, kings are Shapur the first and Shapur the second, right, that extend the empire, right, uh, to the west especially, right, and and bring about first of all not not only bring uh, you know. Again, all of our Armenia now is within Iran, right? But they bring, um, bring, uh, extend the 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 frontiers, as I said, in the west, in uh, into Armenia, right? So and 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 you see that the Roman, um, Persian wars continues, right? The the Persians keep um, attacking Antioch, which is the the end of this. Um, trade routes, the Silk Road, right, and, and and they want to have right this this major entrepot of trade, a major center of trade from which it went, you know, to Europe, quote unquote. Excuse me. The Iranians kept uh, attacking Antioch as soon as it was uh, um, created by the Seleucids, right, and um, and. Um, and and the uh, the Romans right um, kept uh, attacking um, also uh, Ctesiphon and of course Armenia. This area, as we will see, was a bo bone of contention between the Romans and the Armenians because it was strategically very very important. Right. So this one that you see here. Okay, um, the line uh, that the red line that you see here, my friends, is actually uh, Julian's, the Roman Emperor Julian's um, um, march against Ctesiphon during the rule of one of the Shapurs, right? The Shapur, the, the Shapur the first, the second Sasanian king, right, is said to have. Um, constructed a number of uh, sort of um, rock rel reliefs, right, in which he cel celebrates, of course, his rule. He had a long, um, rather long rule, like three decades, right, and he has established, um, a tri he wrote a trilingual inscription at a, at a, a, at a uh, sort of... Um, structure that we call the Kabe Zartos, you don't need to know that, uh, and which might or might not have been, we still don't know, uh, a temple, right, um, to one of the 
Iranian gods, and we will talk about it, right? So here you see Shapur the first defeating um, Gordian, right? Um, Gordian, the Roman Gordian, and 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 uh, and and uh, the co-emperor, right? Philip the Arab, right? Um, remaining in 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 being also he was the one actually who um who sued for peace right um the um philip philip the arab um with, with, who came from one of the arab client states that uh, the sasanians the, that the, the Romans came to rules, just as the Sasanians in Mesopotamia, right, came to have an Arab satellite um, sort of a kingship that was under their control, and 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 we will see and and control the Arab population uh, who were uh, coming from inner uh, inner Arabia right um uh inner arabia uh, so so the arabs right um uh, had always been for a long time been there in 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 syria right and in mesopotamia already right um uh, okay he he has three campaigns against the romans right um so, and, and he begins to say in one of his inscriptions, you know, the Caesar lied and did harm to Armenia, he begins, with reference to Roman interference in Armenia, uh, and possibly refusing to pay tribute, the Romans paying tribute to Sasanians, right? Um, so, um, so, and then he says um, that... Uh, and and so we went to the to the war against the Romans, and we annihilated a Roman force of sixty thousand at Barbalesis, right? At, at the Battle of um, Barbalesis, which is on the left bank of the Euphrates in Syria, right? And we burned and ravaged the province of Syria and all its dependencies. De uh, uh, dependencies and in that one campaign we conquered from the Roman Empire the following forts and cities and then he, he, he goes on to to name 36 of them right and he here is like you know he, he is really really boasting right because he is right he is um, the second most important uh, I mean, not the second, I mean, equally important um, uh, ruler in the international scene, right, of Western Asia and so-called Europe, right? Uh, so meaning basically uh, Greece and, 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 and Roman Italy, right? It was, the, it, it was the Roman emperor, right? And it was, there was the Sasanian, right? King of kings, right? The word for king in Persian, you must know, is Shah. So, uh, so um, the, the king of kings becomes Shah Han, and, say, Shah Han Shah. Right, because so many kingships, right? Because uh, all Iranian imperial, um, uh, imperial uh, sort of empires, right, from Achaemenid onwards, right, had um, had uh, had from Achaemenid onwards had brought a lot of people under their control, right? And as we have seen, right, unlike the Roman Empire, which was built on the, on the back of the slaves, really, the Iranian tradition, right, um, you only used the, um, never, never came 
anywhere close to, it did not practice this form of slavery, right? It was, slaves usually were household servants, which became, you know, part of the household and, and so on and so forth, right? Um, okay. Um, so in the battle for uh, Antioch uh, that Shapur undertook, right, it, uh, that the several campaigns were, were conducted against Antioch between the period of 253 to uh, 56, um, um, and, 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 you know, it was, Antioch was the prestigious and rich capital of Roman East with a substantial population of Jewry in, in there, right? Um, okay, and here is a map showing, um, showing uh, uh, Antioch, Alexandria, um, this is, this is Antioch. Alexandria and Carrera, which um, unfortunately the map is um, sort of, um, um, these are all cities in Upper Mesopotamia, right, my friends, in, in, in Northern Iraq, right, uh, Edessa, they, they all still exist under different names, right, and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, uh, okay, and in the third campaign, we set up on Kare Karea, Edessa, and we were besieging these two, um, Valerian, the Caesar, came against us, yeah, Chapur is saying, and with him was a force totaling, you know, 70,000, from the province of the Goths and the Germans, right, um, because remember, in the third century already, in the first century already, um, the um, the uh, Germanic tribes had had from the first century had begun to infiltrate. In the fourth century, as we will see, they there was a mass migration of um, the Germanic tribes. So this is during that time that we are talking about, right? Uh, where the Germanic tribes are actually attacking the Western Roman and Eastern Roman Empire, right? So he says, um, so the, 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 the Caesar came against us, right? Um, uh, and Valerian, right? Uh, we took him um, prisoner, right? And the senators, da, 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 and we took them to Persis, right? The Pars. Um, um, and we um, and we burned with fire and we ravaged and we took captive and we conquered the province of Syria and the province of Sicilia da, 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 da. Um, okay it's, it's the same um, uh, the same story right um, that he is explaining his his achievements right so uh, on, under his successor, um, Shapur II, right, the same efforts at, as prosperity continues, right, uh, they begin an urban construction, the Sasanians in Mesopotamia, they begin canal construction in Mesopotamia, they bring a, a larger area of Mesopotamia into, in, 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 in their, uh, in their, uh, in their, um, under their control, right, um, and, and the, that, uh, under the two Shapurs, the triumph of the Iranians increased, the Sasanian Empire, its prestige increased, right, uh, as, and, and confirmed uh, its position as one of the two guardians of order and progress in the world, right. This is the tradition, this is the Iranian tradition, my friends, that you never hear about, right? Because we are so busy dealing with the Greeks and the Romans, right? And throughout this period. All right. Uh, so because there were Iranians and non-Iranians that were brought together under the rule of um, Shapur, um, Shapur became the king of, king of kings of Iran, right, Iranians, and un-Iran, yeah? 
on Iranians, right? And 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 during their rule, they brought many Christians. You know, when you conquered cities, you usually and this was not just a practice of the Sasanians. This was the deal from Assyrian times onwards, right? You brought the cream of the cream of those cities into your own territory, their wealth, so that they you transferred their wealth into your territory and their know-how, right? So that the Christians, right, uh, of, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the empire under their control, right, in, in um, south of, uh, south of um, Persis, the province of Khuzestan, um, the, the Christians who were persecuted also during the Roman um, Empire, right, early Christians, right, um, they, 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 they were no longer prosecuted in Iran, right, they prospered and multiplied, right, in various uh, various uh, provinces of Iran and built churches and monasteries and so on and so forth, right? Um, and, and during Shapur's reign, right, and there was a systematic effort, right, also, <coughs> excuse me, to bring, bring Greek and Syriac. Syriac was the language, it's a dialect of Aramaic, remember the lingua franca, right? Um, of all these empires, basically, in a way, right? And Syriac is a is a is a dialect of it, right? And it is it was written by the Christians, right? It has it in its own alphabet, um, right? And and the works of Greeks and whatnot, uh, right? Were 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 uh, including uh, and 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 the. Uh, were first translated into Syriac. So under the Sushapurs, there began this, this process of translation, right? On the one hand, you know, there were in, indigenous uh, sort of um, uh, in, in, indigenous growth that was uh, taking place and indigenous sciences and, you know, um, uh, and then the Persians were busy reading the sciences that were produced in India and in in um, in uh, produced by the Greeks, right? In other words, the Iranians, right, were were never ever, right? Uh, I mean, the xenophobic with with the populations under their control, right? Uh, they very rarely persecuted uh, minorities, the Christians and the Jewish. You can, you you know, like three times in their whole history, maybe. Yeah, well, and it, it was a passing period, right? Um, anyway, all these sciences, beginning from, um, from Shapur, were brand, translated, brought together, added to, and translated into Pahlavi, or Middle Persian, Right, which is the language of of um, of um, of the uh, Sasanians, right? Um, Middle Persian, right? And, and and there was an unprecedented, right, um, uh, sort of um, period of town building and and urbanization amongst these kings, right? So this is how things stand, right, in the middle of um, uh, the 3rd the, uh, century, right? Um, Shapur the first um, had, had many wars against, against the, the Romans, right? And um, as, as we see during the hit, um, Gordian actually... Uh, perished in one of the, the the emperor Gordian perished in one of these um, sort of um, attacks, right? Um, but anyway, there are all kinds of stories uh, in about the ways in which the emperor, the uh, the Roman emperor, emperor um, died, right? Um, 
after the war with um, with uh, Shapur the first, right? Um, okay, so the the uh, they they wrote inscriptions, right? But but it's a it's a reflection of this, you know, this f effort to bring all the population together where 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 and these inscriptions are written in three different languages my friends right three different languages the middle persian parthian which is also an iranian language right and greek right because in mesopotamia they had substantial greek populations under their rule right uh, and they had Greek populations within their cities, right, um, on, under their rule, right? Um, so, um, okay, so um, you will read their, their words in your, in your um, lecture notes, perhaps, right? But one thing is very important is that in his documents, Shapur refers to himself as Mazda worshipping. And this and, um, you know, a number of other anecdotal sort of um, um, information, right, um, he declared himself and he he's known to have declared himself as Mazda worshipper, and uh, uh, in other words, as the worshipper of Ahura Mazda. Ahura means God, right? And Mazda may, means uh, great wisdom. i.e. the the main god, god right uh, and and um, um okay so then he including including this this description um they they, they say that he was also responsible for strengthening um this this ties of religion and 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 kingship. In fact, if you look at the coinage of Sasanian kings, later Sasanian kings, you will see that on the on on the um, obverse uh, on the front side of it, there is a a, a picture of uh, of the king, right? Just as you know, you have on on our quarters and uh, and whatnot. We have uh, all of this. Right? And on the back of our quarters and our bills and whatnot, um, we have in God we trust and uh, and so on and so forth. Right. So uh, uh, on the back of their coins, on the front, on the obverse side of the coin, obverse, meaning the the upper side of the coin. Right. They they had the um, picture of the king. And on the reverse of it, a fire temple. Okay, and the Zoroastrians are supposed to have been um, uh, worshippers of fires. So, Shapur II said, says, uh, for the reason, therefore, that the gods have so made us their instrument, and that by the help of the gods we have sought out for ourselves and hold all these nations. For that reason, we have also founded province by province many varahran yeah, uh, fires. These were the main uh, uh, fires, right, of the Zoroastrians. And we have dealt piously with many magi, magi so Zoroastrian priests, Right, the three magi. Remember the three magi of the uh, the birth of Jesus. Right, um, they are supposed to be um, Zoroastrian priests. In fact, they are Parthians. Right, um, Parthian representatives. Um, 
Right. Anyway, uh, so the priests of the uh, the Zoroastrians, the priest is called Mobad. Right? Um, and their chief god, Ahura Mazda. And their chief holy book, right? Avesta. Right? Which is supposed to have been brought together with all the knowledge of the world, right? Uh, inside of it, uh, you know, uh, by, by, by the... Uh, by Shapur the first, right, um, and 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 thus establish the twin pillars of government for the Iranians ostensibly, right, uh, and that is religion and state. Okay, as we will see bringing together religion and state, right, was actually what the Byzantines did, right? And it is that model that European historians of 19th and early 20th century wanted to impose on, on the Iranian tradition where they said that, okay, they, they had one religion which was very orthodox, very, um, very dogmatic, which in fact was none of the above, Right, and I will talk about it. Right, and and um, and uh, and their state, right, uh, which enforce that religion. All of which is is a paradigm, is 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 a narrative that is a false narrative, my friends. Right, so uh, there are you know there there are attempts to doing that. Right, especially in the uh, in in. Um, later 3rd century, right, uh, where there is one important priest that, 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 that uh, actually carves inscriptions, right, and on, on top of the mountains, right, uh, his name is Kartir, and in his inscription, he claims to have destroyed, right, all the non-Iranian religions, right, already in the 3rd century. Well, is that true? Well, and, and all Iranian and non-Iranian religions. Is that true? No, this was uh, the biggest lie of propaganda, right, uh, of, of the Sasanians, right, that they were, they were the legitimate king, right, um, because, uh, because they had religion with them, right? It, this is the, this is, you know, the... Um, this, this, I mean, uh, this continued ha has always been the case, right? My religion is after me, right? Um, um, the, when I in, when I engage in warfare, right? Uh, the the poor uh, American soldiers to this day think that, right? And religion is used, right? Always. As, as as sort of as a you know bringing populations together uh, but unsuccessfully right always unsuccessfully right um, so the paradigm is that the Sasanian destroyed the decentralized Parthian Empire established a centralized empire uh, the king of kings was at the top of the pyramid right monarchy and religion were two pillars of uh, government, king and clergy, twins, right, and uh, Zora and Zoroastrianism established as the state religion. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to continue, my friends, in a little while because I don't want my um, my um, uh, my battery to go off. Um, apparently, I am low on battery. Okay, I will be back with you, my friends. <laughs>